Here's a demonstration of why overclocking or overvolting a processor may help. I've got a quad NAND gate here, it's a CMOS HCF4001BE. Very similar technology to a modern processor, but much lower density and uh, larger operating range from 3 to 20 volts. Most processors will only go up to about 1.5 volts maximum. Okay, 5 volts in or out there, and the oscilloscope shows us we're getting 2.5 megahertz. And the wave's not signed. It's a 100 megahertz oscilloscope, but it's probably missing a few harmonics. It's 10 volts. Now, let me adjust the scale here. And we can see the frequency has almost doubled. We've doubled the operating voltage and we've doubled the frequency. And although we've increased the volts by voltage by 5 volts, the frequency has only increased by about 1.1 megahertz or so. So not that much. Now we're going to go all the way to 20 volts, which is the maximum rating for this chip. And we can see it's about 7.5 megahertz. Now, of course, the danger of doing this eventually, because 20 volts is the max, absolute maximum for this chip, the problem is as you increase the voltage, you run the risk of breaking down the gate, insulate on the transistors, and when that breaks down, it don't work anymore, ever. So, you know, let's just see how high we can get to go. 25? And, you know, we've gone to 25. Frequency really hasn't done that much. And now we're going to go to 30. And I expect to die any moment now. didn't. Oh, there it goes. There, it stopped. 36 volts. So it, it didn't it didn't die immediately, it took a while. Now we reduce the voltage and we find it don't work anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Let's just see oscilloscope's persistence there. Oh, there is a waveform still though. Yeah, I've seen this happen before. Very odd. The chip has died, but not quite. It's still oscillating. A very low frequency of about uh, 50 hertz or so. And... Yeah, it's got something going on here. Very unusual. Yeah, it's still oscillating, but it keeps resetting. So, we haven't killed it, actually. But we've significantly degraded its functionality, and I don't think it's going to work anymore. So, yeah, be careful if you overvolt your things. Because uh, this didn't get hot at all. I mean, this, that is cool to the touch. And it it's destroyed, basically. I mean, barely working. It's rather unusual. It's oscillating for maybe 200 cy 20 cycles or so. Yeah. So... Careful. This is a this chip incidentally is worth about twenty pence, I think, when I bought it. But yeah, don't want to do that to your core i7. Turn the supply off.